Good evening, I'm Dave Carvassier. And I'm Gwen Castaldi, and this is News 3 at 6, where news comes first. New security measures in place now at airports all over the country. Our own Laura Garcia checked with passengers at McCarran Airport today to see if they saw any changes. It looks the same, and it feels the same. The security changes at McCarran Airport should not be noticeable to the 84,000 passengers who go through here daily. People know the FAA's stepped up airport security, but say they're not worrying about it. It didn't affect my travel plans at all, no. I had no, no, I had to come here for business, so there was nothing that was really going to stop me anyway, so. Measures aren't as tight as during the Gulf War. You can still drop people off at the curb, check your baggage with a porter, and walk people all the way to the gates. They will hear a new security announcement as part of our paging system, um, asking passengers to uh, please be a, not accept bags or parcels from people they do not know. Uh, please don't check in luggage that doesn't belong to you. Other changes are more obvious. They can't hand scan in, which I would think that they would be able to do. He has to come out of the backpack and, you know, instead and then put back in. But other than that, I haven't really noticed anything different and I travel a lot. Most of the new security changes are behind the scenes in how airlines and airports handle your luggage. But exactly what those new procedures are is anyone's guess. The FAA is keeping that information confidential. We are, you know, in this mode until we get further directives from the FAA. And, and passengers should know that, you know, business is going on as usual at McCarran. We do have a metro substation out here. FAA has a security presence here, and we have our own security. You may feel the difference and not know the reason why, but the FAA is making sure the skies you fly are friendly. Laura Garcia, News 3. Well, 10 minutes, that's all it took for members of a coroner's inquest panel to decide that a Metro officer was acting properly when he shot and killed a man last month. That decision came down this afternoon. Jack Finn was there, and he has the latest on what happened. Well, Gwen, it really was an easy decision for the seven-member jury who spent this morning hearing testimony at a coroner's inquest about a SWAT team raid on a suspected drug house last July 13th. The SWAT team knew before they went in that suspected drug dealer Ramon Araguin was heavily armed and prone to violence. But Officer Dave Reed could have no way of knowing that a quarter inch of Kevlar on his vest would be the only thing between him and a bullet from a 357 Magnum. Araguin shot Reed from a distance of about three feet, and the officer's return fire left the suspected drug dealer dead. And I saw him bending over, reaching out towards the door with his left hand as if trying to shut it. I also saw in his right hand he had a revolver. I saw the top portion of the revolver in his right hand and that he fired at me. I felt the impact of the bullet. Reed told the jury that no more than two seconds passed from the time he kicked in Adegine's bedroom door to the time Adegine lay bleeding to death from five gunshots. How did it feel this impact? It felt like somebody punching you in the chest very hard. Now, there was no testimony today on Ramon Araguin's behalf. Attempts were made to contact his family, including his wife, who was there that night. But it's believed they're citizens of Mexico and may have returned to that country. So again, a coroner's inquest jury took just 10 minutes to decide Officer Dave Reed was justified in shooting Ramon Araguin last month. And officer's back on duty then? Yes, he is. Okay. Thanks, Jack. The Southern Desert Correctional Center at Indian Springs is in a lockdown tonight. The order was given after an inmate was stabbed there late this afternoon. The inmate was flown to UMC where his condition is unknown right now. A suspect is in custody. And firefighters were out there in the sweltering heat for the third time in the last couple of days. Today battling a spreading brush fire out near where else? The Sam Boyd Stadium again following in yesterday's blaze. In all, about 10 acres have been blackened by the brush fire in the dry Las Vegas wash area near the stadium mobile home park. No cause on yesterday's fire, but fire officials say today's was probably caused by mischievous kids. They are possibly looking at one juvenile in this latest fire, but no injuries or structural damage. Well, let's say you spent hundreds, maybe thousands, for your new pet store puppy. The last thing you want is a pricey vet bill right away. But the News 3 investigators showed you two families who got just that, and today more on the pet store with an unhealthy track record. News 3 investigator Darcy Spears is on the case. They're eager to get out of their cages and into your arms. But the McClones dogs never time. got there. One puppy they got at the Meadows Pet Center has been quarantined with cargo. The other is dead. Do you have other patients coming in that have this type of a problem with this pet store? Yes. How often would you say you see someone with a sick pet from Meadows? Gee, 
days. I don't even keep track. So what, once a week? Johnny here is another one. This Neapolitan Mastiff came with a $1,700 price tag. For his owner, that was only the beginning. Already I've spent probably $700. He had problems with his eyes. He had to have surgery twice on one eye and then once on the other eye. I had to keep putting the money in because, you know, he's in pain. And I just, I'm, I'm not ready to give up on him. And that's not all. Johnny may need surgery to fix his legs at $1,000 per paw. Virginia found out that Johnny had been hospitalized for five days before being sold and that vigorous exercise had cleared up the problem with his legs. But an orthopedic specialist told her Johnny had a genetic defect and a 50-50 chance of ever walking like a normal dog. What does the Meadows Pet Center say about all of this? That dog had been exercised, not hospitalized. Oh, they only want to replace the dog with another dog. It's like, you know, he, I love this dog. It's like, throw him away, we'll give you another one. And I just can't do that. Meadows Pet Center does offer an insurance policy, but coverage is limited, and none of Johnny's problems are covered at all. The Humane Society receives complaints about pet stores like Meadows every day. So we receive complaints about most of the pet shops. Uh, I'm sure there are some good ones, but we just don't hear about them because they're doing the right things. So, of course, the people that we hear about are normally uh, those that are, don't seem to have the animal's best interest at heart. If you do buy your puppy at a pet store, Animal Control has some tips. First, don't be an impulse buyer. Before you buy, arrange a health exam and check immunization and breeding records carefully. Doing that will help ensure that your best friend will be around for years to come. Darcy Spears for the News 3 Investigators. Well, for the second day in a row, another fatal accident occurred along State Route 160. This Jeep was traveling northbound towards Pahrump when the left rear tire blew out. The car went into a broadside skid, flipping over, ejecting the driver, who died at the scene. Witnesses say he was driving erratically, weaving, and stopping intermittently. NHP is asking the drivers to take extra caution along this particular stretch of road. Yeah, this is a uh, two-lane highway with traffic traveling northbound and southbound uh, with, with a very small shoulder. And if you do travel this roadway, you need to understand that you need to go the speed limit, have your seat belts on, and pay attention to the other vehicle uh, traveling uh, towards you and behind you. That's one of the most important things you can do out here. The Highway Patrol is investigating to see if drinking might have been a factor here. Gray skies out there, but Chopper Tom is up in the Sky 3 helicopter. He's always up there. Tom, what's going on? Oh, well, we've, been, we've been getting a few bumps in Sky 3 this afternoon. Alan Sloan will fill us in on what the weather has to hold uh, later on in the newscast. But right now, getting bumped around a little bit over the Sahara flyover off-ramp. We're continuing on this project. The Department of Transportation is sticking with an October estimated completion date. You can see right now that they're adding guardrail around the side of the uh, Sahara flyover off-ramp. Takes you off of I-15 southbound on the eastbound Sahara. Eventually, when it's done, it'll be a real time saver on the interstate. For now, it's just a road work delay for southbound I-15 in the morning, northbound I-15 in the afternoon. The only real trouble spot to watch out for on the freeways, though, is northbound I-15 at the Spaghetti Bowl. A small accident is pulled off to the right side, just causing a minor gapers block delay. But from our perspective, high above the Sahara flyover off-ramp traffic is looking good on the interstate. Tom Holly reporting from Sky 3. All right, Tom. Well, almost time to go back to school, and if you've got any questions about the upcoming year, we can help tonight. Our own Ricky Cheese is down in the call free phone room with some folks who are standing by just for your calls. Right, Ricky? You are missing this right out of camera shot. Superintendent Brian Cram is racing, trying to find school assignments. Folks, that's his back to you right there. 657-3433 is the number to call right now if you want to talk to the superintendent. We've got school board members here. We have uh, school board staff. We've got uh, security staff. Anybody that you need to talk to about anything related to school, registration, zoning. If, you don't, if you're new in town, you don't know where your child is supposed to go, you want to know about registration, you want to know about immunizations, anything you need to know about school, call this number right now, 657-3433. These folks will all be here this evening until 7 o'clock. Of course, we have our back-to-school fair that is this weekend at the Boulevard Mall, so many of these people will be there on hand 
Friday through Sunday to answer your questions. But tonight they are sitting right here. They've got all the information in front of them. Whether you've got a question or just a concern, you'd like to know about some of the issues facing our students. This is a major school district, the 11th largest in the country. A lot of issues, a lot of things to talk about. The folks are right here and will be here until 7 o'clock tonight. I'll check in with you later on in this newscast, Dave. All right. Thanks, Ricky. And if you have children heading back to the classroom, as Ricky was talking about, we've got information for you at the Back to School Fair. She mentioned it. It starts tomorrow and runs through this weekend as well as the next. You can show up during regular hours at the Boulevard Mall this Friday through Sunday. What's available? Last-minute answers from school district staff, and your children can get free immunizations. Channel 3 is a co-sponsor. Plus, you won't want to miss our News 3 special called Back to the Books with Ricky Cheese. It airs next Thursday night at 7.30. Another wave is coming. That's optimism from state officials following a statewide leveling off of gaming revenues. For the fiscal year 94-95, resorts on the Strip took in $3.5 billion, almost a 9% increase, doing well. There were even bigger gains last year, though, primarily because of the new mega resorts. There was heavy action because of all the openings. Uh, disappointing winnings in other areas changed the state's overall tally. Statewide, $7.1 billion in winnings, that's a 7.6% gain, not as good as last year's whopping 10.4%, once again because of those mega resort openings. Uh, downtown resort revenues were down by 1.5%. Well, they're calling it a multimedia superstore, and it's right here in Las Vegas. It's called WOW, and if you're looking for interactive computer software, well, it might be the place. Let's check it out. That's where our Helen Kamari is sitting by live at the grand opening tonight ultimate media marriage. Forget Disney and ABC. This is it. Tower and the Good Guys together as one. Joining me now is Bob Gunst, CEO of the Good Guys. Tell me, what can customers expect here that they can't anywhere else? The largest, most compelling assortment of consumer electronics hardware and entertainment software. You can try everything out on everybody's machines. $80,000 reference stereo system. It's an exciting multimedia superstore. Tell me about that. So if you have a favorite CD and you want to come down here and not disturb the neighbors, you can put it in this $80,000 system? If you have a favorite or you want to buy a favorite, try it out in this store. You'll be able to try it out in the best system in the world. That's great. And tell me about this. This is the world's largest slot machine. Go ahead and show me how this works. There you go, folks. The world's largest slot machine. Oh, we're a loser, but looks like the store is going to be a winner. 60,000 square feet, everything you ever wanted. You can try it out right here. Come on down. Grand opening is tomorrow at noon. Tonight there's a private party. The band Collective Soul will be playing for private party members only at 8 o'clock right here behind me. Tune in at 11 and we'll show you a sneak peek. Reporting live, I'm Helen Kumari. Back to you. Big store. Yeah, I guess the more we grow, the more we're going to see mega things we'll like that. We'll see one on one side of town, another one on the other yeah, side of town. Probably. Yeah, probably. Oh, when we returned the news 3 at 6, it was supposed to be simple ceremony for some military veterans, but it turned into a rather terrifying experience. We'll tell you why. An explosive mystery solved by the ATF. We'll tell you about it next on News 3 at 6, where news comes first. News 3's closed captioning is funded by Sprint Central Telephone, Nevada. It's just about time for kids to get ready to go back to school. And if you have any questions about things such as zoning, busing, or registration, Channel 3's Back to School Fair can help. I'm News 3's Ricky Cheese. Visit the Boulevard Mall Friday through Sunday. Clark County School District personnel will be on hand to help your child get ready to go back to school. And the Clark County Health District will give free immunizations. Channel 3's Back to School Fair, sponsored by the Clark County School District, the Boulevard Mall, and Channel 3. When you want a price that's really low, where do you go? Fletcher Jones, Chevrolet Geo. Right now, 3.9% on every new Chevrolet car, 3.9% on Camaros, Luminous, Prisms, Metros, Cavaliers, and even Corvettes. 3.9% over invoice. Just think what 3.9 can do for your payments. 3.9 over no matter how long you finance your car. Fletcher Jones, Chevrolet Geo. Though we gotta say goodbye for the summer. For $14.99, KFC gives you your choice of chicken, plus large mashed potatoes, gravy, any other large side, biscuits, honey barbecue wings, and our new big and chocolatey Oreo brownies. You'd be crazy to cook, unless this is where you want to spend your summer. Yes, we gotta say goodbye. So come into our kitchen and get the new you'd be crazy to cook mega meal. 
Announcing the Ross 1499 Shoe Spectacular. Women's athletic shoes, the top brands, are now only $14.99. Name brand men's athletic shoes, just $14.99. Women's casual shoes, only $14.99. Save 50 to 70% on a huge selection of name brand casual and athletic shoes. Run, don't walk to the Ross 1499 Shoe Spectacular. Well, in news around the West, a near disaster as some of the best paratroopers in the world gathered to honor their former comrades, former members of the 82nd Airborne, flew into Utah and made a jump at the Salt Lake Airport. But onlookers were shocked, the winds stronger than estimated, and many jumpers were dragged along the tarmac. There's one of them, about 30 men suffered injuries, four had serious head and neck injuries. Jumpers included those who served at Normandy, Korea, and in Vietnam. And following up on that stolen explosives story from the past few days, they made an arrest yesterday and today found most of those missing explosives. They were taken two weekends ago from a mine in Idaho. The ATF served a search warrant near Sandpoint, Idaho today and recovered 400 pounds of explosives, seven rolls of detonator cord. They also recovered another 10 pounds in a building in Coeur d'Alene. And when we return to News 3 at 6, we know it was hot out there, but Alan Sloan's up next to tell us just where the mercury went today. Up. And if you want to put a little oop in your rump, we got the perfect purchase for you. <laughs> it's up next on News 3 at 6, where news comes first. Glittering stars, antique cars, the Imperial Palace has it all. The Imperial Palace Hotel and Casino, the very best value in Las Vegas. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please, for the biggest announcement in Las Vegas automotive history. 1.9%, 1.9% APR financing for up to 48 months. Tom Coward Lincoln Mercury gives you what you've been waiting for. 1.9% financing for up to 48 months. Look at Tom Coward's inventory. 1.9% is only for a limited time. Don't wait. Run to Tom Coward Lincoln Mercury, 5750 West Sahara, between Decatur and Jones, for one9 Aloha. Take a look around. I've discovered a new paradise. And this new paradise has a fabulous feast every day and night. A beautiful garden setting that is so comfortable and served with a few paradise. Tiny bubbles. Tiny bubbles. In the wine. In the wine. Make me happy. Make me happy. This is not a rap song, kid. Make <laughs> me feel fine. And the best part is, this new paradise is at the Flamingo Hilton in Las Vegas. And while you're at the Flamingo Hilton, don't miss the great Radio City Spectacular starring the Rockettes with special guest star Susan Anton. Muggy, muggy. Mm. Yeah. You wanted to know where the mercury went? It's up there somewhere by Desert Rock. Yeah, he said it <laughs> went up, up. Close together. Okay. Hey, we have a mystery on our hands. If either one of you know where this is, tell me, because I don't. Uh, this submitted by Elizabeth Lawrence. She looks, lives on East Katy Avenue. Looks like uh, outside of St. George, there's a big mesa. Uh, I'm not like sure, a, but that's... Maybe. Uh, anyway, we, the reason we picked this today is because the sky looks a lot like the one we were enjoying, if you mm. want to say that today. Okay, thank you very much, Elizabeth, for the picture. At 6 o'clock, our skies are partly sunny. The temperature is now down to 101, with the heat index down a point at 96. Barometer is still continuing to fall at 29 and 62 hundredths inches, 12 percent of relative humidity, wind southwest at 15. The air quality is good. Around the neighborhood, it's 101 in Boulder City, four warmer in Henderson, a trace of rain this morning at Mount Charleston at 74, 103 at both North Las Vegas and Ellison downtown at 98 degrees. It's double digits in Pahrump. Our Pacific satellite shows us with a little disturbance up here to the north, but that's not where our action is coming from. That's going right across into the northern Rockies. No, indeed. What we're getting is all that strong circulation and this moisture down here off the Colorado River, and that's where showers came from. Too numerous to mention all the way around the area today. And as we say, a trace of rain up at Mount Charleston. We had a few raindrops right here in the valley itself. We have Tropical Storm Flossie down here. Take a look at that. Uh, that storm is moving right on up along the 
southern tip of Baja. Then we got another one over here that we're going to be looking at in just a minute. A severe thunderstorm watch out. Very unusual. Southern parts of Arizona and the extreme northern part of Mexico. This little storm will probably miss Baja as it moves along over there. Then, of course, we have Gabrielle. This is right down here. She's packing winds, but we're right around 50 miles an hour, not quite a hurricane yet. Probably go ashore on the upper Mexican coast sometime today. Then we have Phoenix, uh, Phoenix. We have Felix clear out in the eastern Atlantic, and that's about 650 miles now from the Leeward Islands. That is causing people all the way along the east coast to be very nervous, and possibly with good cause. Little rain tomorrow around Chesapeake Bay, mid-Atlantic coast, a little on the northeastern corner of the Gulf Coast. Not much else happening there. For us, our low stays here, and it's funneling all the moisture in. So once again, we have the very good possibility of an afternoon isolated evening shower or thunderstorm. Then it'll all be gone. Don't worry, it'll be gone by Saturday. Around our area tonight, we are looking for wind advisory. We're under that right now, and that's going to last probably till 9 or 10 o'clock. And how strong are the winds? Well, they were 35 mile an hour gusts earlier this afternoon. They're blowing southwesterly, 20 to 35. Overnight low, about 83. Tomorrow, just the chance of an isolated afternoon or an evening shower. Southwest winds to 20 and about 109 here in the valley. 130, 113 out at Lake Mead and widely scattered showers and thunderstorms there. Southwest winds 10 to 20, 30 miles an hour in the north-south oriented canyons. Water at 82. At Mount Charleston, slight chance of an afternoon or an evening shower or thunderstorm. They'll have southwest winds of 84 for a high. Well, let's see what the guys... Oh, there they are. Well, hmm. Is that last guy? I don't know what he's doing. Well, let's not worry Smiling about real big. He's smiling big. He's going to, he's going to uh, Malibu, that's why. Tomorrow, mostly sunny. Slight chance of an afternoon shower. Saturday, just mostly sunny. Showers will be gone. Then Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, some afternoon clouds, but mostly sunny, warm, and dry with temperatures just a little above normal. Sounds great. All Sorry, right, Ellen. Bruce Casella joins us next with Sports PGA underway in Los Angeles. And Bruce has highlights from day one. And how is the training going for the man that will step into the ring with Mike Tyson? Well, the story coming up on News 3, where news comes first. It's warehouse closeout 95. 95 Corollas, just 159 a month. And we'll give you top dollar for your trade. Toyota West, the Toyota warehouse. Go for the price. I'm attorney Victor Lee Miller. If you've been injured through no fault of your own and don't know where to turn for medical help, call us. We can help you get the medical attention you need now. Don't gamble. Call the law offices of Victor Lee Miller at 877-4779. Ever notice how some banks have been adding all kinds of stuff to their checking accounts, only to hit you up later with all sorts of fees? Well, at American Federal Savings Bank, our checking accounts are simple, like our just plain checking account. Simply maintain a minimum balance, and there's no service charge. Now you know why we're the bank that fits. 24-hour service with the real person? Is your health care company there for you 24 hours a day, every day? We're Nevada Health Visions. Now our members can call with health plan questions anytime, day or night. It's a real person you're telling me? No recording? That's terrific. We're the first Las Vegas health care company to offer our members 24-hour service with real people answering real questions. I've never had the ability to have 24-hour service. Call your broker or call us at 221-1000. I'd like to see something like that. There's a stampede going on at Chapman's Las Vegas Dodge, the regional factory outlet. Now! 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 now. This is bigger than a sale. It's a Ram truck rampage. Chapman Dodge has got Nevada's largest selection of Dodge trucks, and they're priced to sell now. Regular cabs, club cabs, V6s, V8s, V10s, Cummins turbo diesels, 4x4s, lots of options, or just plain work trucks. Chapman's got them all on sale now. Chapman's Las Vegas Dodge, Boulder Highway, south of Sahara. Big fight. Oh, 19th is coming up fast. That's right, McNeely and Tyson can hardly wait. Eight days to go, you know. He's called the Hurricane, a powerful, stocky man, given the opportunity to go down in boxing history or go down at the hands of Mike Tyson in the boxing ring. Peter McNeely continued his workout today at Barry's Gym. You know, everybody has a dream, and win or lose, the 25 to 1 underdog believes in himself, believes he can beat Mike Tyson. That may be funny to boxing fans, but to Peter McNeely, it's very real. You gotta believe. I've, I've been dreaming this since I was seven years old. I never let the dream die. I fed the faith and starved the doubt. 
and I finally got a chance to take it up when I was uh, 19 years old, and, and now it's all coming to the pinnacle. For the golf course now, and not a bad place to be, would you say? It's the start of the 77th PGA Championship from the Riviera Country Club in Pacific Morgan. Palisades, California. Jim Gallagher Jr. and Mark O'Mara lead with a 64. This is Gil Morgan with a birdie on 17. He's two strokes back. How about Ben Crenshaw on 10? The approach almost goes. Wow. Maybe Jim Furyk should give it a try. He's on 18. Let's check it out. And he is right on. Furyk in his first PGA Championship. Oh, yeah, the roll. It goes for an eagle. Round two tomorrow. Check your leaderboard now. It is Gallagher and O'Meara leading by two. And four are tied for second at five under. A few golfers are left on the course. Play continues today in the ATP tournament from Kings Island, Ohio. Las Vegas, Andre Agassi took on Alberto Berasategui. Andre just won it. Six love, love six, six two. Wild score there. Earlier today, Henderson's Michael Chang defeated Patrick Rafter, seven five and six one. The number two seed Pete Sampras took on Todd Martin and a little ice cream there to cool things off. Sampras lost the first at seven six, but came up strong against Todd Martin in the second. Nice cross-court winner there. A 6-4 second set win for Sampras. The third set went to another tie break as Sampras wins the final five points of the match. Sampras moves on 6-7, 6-4, and 7-6. The Las Vegas Stars finish their series tonight with Edmonton after last night's win. Twin killing by the Trappers. That's good news. First pitch at Cashman at 7.05. Now in the majors, Padres travel to Chicago. Get a closer look there, young lady. Tied at two. It's always boring, but very important. Sacrifice fly by Brian Johnson. It's good enough for the game winner as Eddie Williams gives San Diego a 3-2 win in the first game. Let's check the board now. In the second game, Cubs crush the Padres 12-5. San Francisco edged Pittsburgh by a run in San Francisco. Next, the Angels and Royals, and California is in hot water, and so is one Kansas City fan, Phil Hyatt, with a drive to right. Tim Salmon goes for the catch, but a fan gets to it first. Look at that. <laughs> it should have been a home run, but it was round, ruled a ground rule double. Look at Salmon. Look the hard star, stare there at that fan. Royals win five zip. Back to the board we go. Toronto doubles up Milwaukee and Cleveland edge New York by a score of 10 to 9. That's your sports. Thanks, Bruce. <laughs> Thanks. When we return, if your best side isn't your back side, but you want to show it off anyway, we've got an unusual solution for you. Yeah, stay tuned if you want to put some cheer in your rear. It's all next on News 3, where news comes first. See them today at Findlay RV Center, Boulder Highway in Twain. First drop is like uh, jumping out of a plane. <laughs> you just go. Catch a ride out of town on Desperado, the world's tallest, fastest roller coaster. It's a hot stop. I thought my heart was going to explode. NBC's Today Show called it one of the wildest rides you can take, if you can take it. That's an extreme ride. Far from the crowds, only 30 minutes away. 1995 package, $83 value. Call 1 800 Fun Stop. Listen up, bargain hunters. Desert GMC truck setters repeat by popular demand this incredible factory authorized sale. We call it a total van sale. With $1,500 factory rebates on every full size van conversion, plus a four day, three night vacation with every van sold. Over 50 van conversions must be sold. Full size and minivans. So triple your chances for saving thousands of dollars at Desert GMC Truck Center's free convenient location. Don't miss $1,500 rebates. Come on over. You're in the driver's seat at Desert GMC Truck Center's. School starts, of course, in just a few weeks. If you've got any questions, we have some answers from the experts. Let's check back in with Ricky Cheese in our call three room. Ricky. You can see everyone here, Gwen, is busy on the phones. We've got the school board superintendent sitting right here, board trustees. Everyone is waiting to take your call, 657-3433. They'll be here until 7 o'clock tonight. A tip is, as soon as we go off the air, for some reason people think we're not answering the phone. So be patient. Keep trying. We'll be here until 7 o'clock tonight. Back to you. Thanks.
All right, Ricky. Coming up tonight at 11, it's the case that changed the way the Supreme Court looks at abortion. Now, the woman who started the fight is changing her stance. Find out why Jane Roe is now supporting the anti-abortion group Operation Rescue. And Elizabeth Hurley trades in her straight-faced model look for a throne next to the king of slapstick. Plus, the latest installment of Food for Thought, all coming up tonight at 11. All right. If you want to look your best, need a little kick in the pants, so to speak, to get there, don't kick too hard. It's because you might be surprised what's under the denim in those jeans lately. We've heard of the Wonder Bra, of course. How about the Miracle Boost jeans? Simple premise. The jeans supposed to shape, hold, and flatter your figure. Fellas, it's not just for women. Take heart. Men's Miracle Boost jeans should be in stores by the end of the month. Did you hear that, Ellen? Heard it. <laughs> okay, I'm Dave Cravasso. Okay. <laughs> be back at 11 on News Your Nights Out with Ricky Cheese. I'm Gwen Castaldi. Thanks to our audiences at All News Radio 105.1 FM and Channel 3 for joining us. See you tomorrow.